Well, my name is Tim. Uh, as John said, I've been with Grazers for about 10 years now, and uh, last winter we decided to remodel our showroom. Um, we took it all the way down to the stud walls. It's got new flooring, new ceiling, new lights, new electrical, and we updated a lot of the displays. Um, as you can see, some of the uh, Navy and tankless water heaters, uh, NHB boiler, um, did some upgrades. We've got the uh, Spirotherm quad installed on there, some Grunfuss pumps. Just uh, trying to show the customers some of the new stuff that's available, um, how it's installed. But we upgraded uh, all our showers and faucets and desk areas, a lot of new tubs and everything. Okay, with these displays, uh, we set these up so we could show people exactly what they're getting, how it's going to look in their home, um, and what each feature does as far as tank hangers, pressure gauges for pressure, um, manifolds and how they operate. We can actually show these customers how things work. Even on the water heaters, we have recirc lines and pumps set up not only for the customer but for our employees too. So we have a reference on how that stuff is to be installed. Yeah, well, Grager's been around since uh, the mid 60s. It started out as a hardware store, and uh, obviously this is where it's become today. Um, as far as trucks, we run about 50 trucks a day. Uh, we got a pretty elaborate dispatch system to take care of all that. Obviously a lot of people in the shop to uh, help coordinate uh, all the customer traffic and everything. And we currently have about 75 employees that work for Grazers at this time. Um, obviously we increase that number a little bit in the uh, summertime to accommodate um, all the heating and uh, air conditioning calls that will be coming in as soon as it gets above that 90 degree mark. Yeah, there's um, usually after school gets out, which is here in the next week or so, and some kids have already started, but we'll bring in some high school kids and they start in the shop and uh, it's a big shop and there's a lot of materials and they kind of learn to lay out and they uh, put fittings and put stuff away from jobs in the morning and it gives them an understanding of uh, you know what we work with the fittings how the trade works um, kind of gives them a good head start on uh, a career choice you know as they're going through high school and whatnot last fall we had some issues with getting some tankless and some water heaters but we've seen some improvement obviously so we're, we've got a pretty good selection and a really good stock of our water heaters, um, all the way from 30 gallon to 50 gallon natural gas, propane, power vents, natural vent. Um, we pretty much have anything that a uh, customer would like. Yeah, we have two other warehouses. Uh, one warehouse is north of here where we keep all our in-floor tubing and uh, we keep a lot of the fiberglass tubs, a lot of the big bulky type stuff. Uh, and then we have another warehouse south of here, and we keep uh, our furnaces, condensers, A-coils, and stuff like that in there. Um, and we have pretty good stock on all that, too, so we can uh, provide for our customers. Uh, we cover a large area. Uh, anybody that's familiar with this area, we go all the way up to uh, Dixon, um, over to Joliet, down the Peoria area, Pekin, Anawan, pretty much within an hour and a half. Two hours is kind of pushing it, but we've done uh, we've done work for uh, actually we've done some work for vendors for uh, and they were up in a suburb of Chicago. Wow. Yeah. So you know we'll go there if you if you call us you need us. It's going to yeah, cost free, a little more. A free service call like just to come up and just check <laughs> it out. <or> well, <laughs> we try to qualify the customer as best we can before we go on a uh, you know a two hour road trip, <laughs> but uh, sometimes like that we'll get to the job. And then we'll call uh, in whatever parts we need. <laughs> well, the truck, it's a 2004 Duramax diesel, uh, one ton fleet side truck with a utility box. It's, uh, it's an all around good truck for what I do. Cause I do a lot of plumbing. I do a lot of boiler work and I'm able to keep all those materials organized and on this truck with so much storage. Um, as you guys probably know, you put a ladder on a rack, you get a lot of wind noise, tunneling sound that comes through that ladder. So I did a setup here with an appliance cart with an air, and I use the bottom of it for an air deflector. I don't get that noise from the ladder. And then the handles of this actually help lock in the next ladder. You got everything I need for the job on the truck. 